Where the field of go is going, of course, is, I think, directed by uh, a study, Keynote 522, recently published in the New England Journal, uh, where pembrolizumab was given in the neoadjuvant setting, along with uh, chemotherapy backbone that included paclitaxel carboplatin, followed by either uh, doxorubicin or epirubicin and cyclophosphamide. And then patients who were randomized to pembrolizumab or placebo continued the chosen agent for six months after surgery. Their first, you know, they uh, enrolled almost 1,200 patients in that trial, so it's powered for an event-free survival endpoint, the first of trials like that. And uh, they reported the um, PCR rates in the first 602 patients who were enrolled in the trial. And they were significantly higher, more than 13% absolute difference. And then at San Antonio, again, part of this recent publication, uh, they showed that it, the difference was much greater, up to more than 20% improvement in PCR rate in patients who had node positive disease. Striking data and not seen before, where you know a bigger disease burden had a better even response, and also that patients benefited even if they couldn't complete all of the treatment. So really remarkable data, I think, and we're waiting for event-free survival information, which we hope to get later this year. It's hard to know. It's all event-driven, of course, uh, but they only had 15 and a half months of medium follow-up at the first presentation which started at ESMO last year so end of September so I'm thinking you know you might need two years of follow-up or three to try and get enough events so maybe end of this year they'll have some